Well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Pennywise? Yes. Those of you who have seen the latest adaptation of Stephen King's It may be forgiven for thinking that Pennywise is just a terrifying clown. The film does spend a small amount of time making it clear that Pennywise, or It as it's commonly referred to by the children of Derry, is not just a clown. But what exactly is Pennywise? If we take a look at King's novel, or even the 1990 miniseries, Pennywise is described as being an ancient cosmic being. The novel even refers to him as a devourer of worlds who can take many different forms. We can compare Pennywise to a boggart in J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, as it can transform into whatever you fear most. It is made very clear that it particularly enjoys feeding on young children, as they are easier to scare, and it seems fear enhances the flavour of his prey. He even goes as far as to claim the exotic terrors and fears of human beings make their flesh taste better, comparing the process of inducing fear to salt in the meat. Pennywise the Clown is not the monster's true form, it is just a mere shape that it has assumed. It has no gender, and it comes from a surrounding universe known as the Macroverse. We as humans cannot comprehend its true form. The closest we come is that of a giant spider that looks to be inspired by the work of H.P. Lovecraft. It is made from an energy known as the Deadlights that originates in the Macroverse. The Deadlights appear as spectral orange lights, and the book mentions that the mere sight of the Deadlights is enough to kill a person. In the movie, we see it using the Deadlights as a weapon against the people of Derry when attempting to consume them. As the creature appears to be a celestial being, it cannot be killed through conventional means. The only way to kill it is through the ritual of Chud. It awakens from its hibernation every 27 to 30 years to feed on the flesh of innocent children. The awakening is always marked by a brutal act of violence as the creature is drawn to suffering and tragedy. With it being a supernatural entity, it has a host of special powers and abilities, including shapeshifting, teleportation, regeneration, and even the ability to create illusions. Its greatest enemy is a giant godlike turtle named Matarin who inhabits the Macroverse. The two are locked in an internal and symbolic battle. I guess we have to give credit to Stephen King here, because he's created a universe where a child murdering clown is enemies of a giant turtle from outer space. The reason that it is so terrifying is the fact that it has no appearance. It can adapt and become whatever you fear most. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a thumbs up, as it helps promote the video and allows the channel to grow. If there's anything you'd like to discuss or have any ideas for future videos, then please let me know in the comments section. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.